What's good, y'all? This is Paul Ewing, your number one Penn State fan. Today we're going to break down the arrival of joint flying from Ohio State to Happy Valley, PA. Now, first of all, he wasn't like a big target at Ohio State due to the presence of Marvin Harrison Jr. and Amike Buka, and also stars like Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. So he was kind of like an underrated receiver, didn't get much playing time. But I think he's at Penn State, he's going to get much more playing time. It also made bad expectations out of him, too, because this kid's got skill. I mean, he didn't really get many touchdowns last season, but he's got something. He had a really good year in, 20, in 2021. He had a really good year in 2022 when they went to the – well, playoffs for Ohio State, he had a great season, six touchdowns, over 200 plus, 800 plus yards. He's one of the greatest receivers that year, in my opinion. But trust me, that may be a little bit exaggerated, but still, Penn State might be their luckiest transfer ever. They might have, might have landed their luckiest player because it's not everyone now again. It's not every year that Penn State gets someone good from a school like Ohio State. Yeah, I mean, it's. You see Reed David also that kind of raised my optimism about Penn State in 2024 and then making the playoffs and possibly being national champions because you just, they just landed a big-time player from a big-time school that's been them from great recruits from places like Florida, Texas, California. And they're like one of the top, power, top 25 schools last year, so... This is a big deal, and I don't think many people are underestimating the, the how huge this is. Penn State getting a getting a top-notch receiver from a top-notch college. This is a big move for the Nittany Lions. He's got a lot of talent. He's strong. They he got didn't get much playing time at the highest State because of their. So they have lots of other good receivers. He has potential. And possibly, they could beat Ohio State. That would be the biggest. Would be the biggest goal of the season is to beat Ohio State, in my opinion. Position you got to beat Washington's going to come in as a national championship, either a champion or runner-up, and they're going to be hungry. You're going to have a lot of teams get to play against this year that are hungry teams like Michigan, Ohio State, Iowa, West Virginia. Maryland's always a tough challenge. You got a lot of teams that are going to be tough to take on. I think that if they put up a good fight like they did every year, they're going to have that championship in their possession this year because they've got a something brewing. They always, they've had for a while, they got one of the best, most underrated quarterbacks in the country in Drew Aller, who, in my opinion, deserves a lot more respect from people. Because he said he had a great season last year. I mean, the uh, he might have lost the bowl game, but besides that, he had a great year. He just – he's only 19. Like, he had struggled – he struggled against Ohio State, which is – bringing a 19-year-old college quarterback is a struggle against because you're playing in a lot of stadiums in football in Ohio State. That's not, the, not a good challenge for anybody. Not even – I think this is going to be a time when they decide – are they going to be a – they going to be a champion this year or are they going to be a, another runner-up? Because this year, Penn State has Allen in his prime. They have Nick Singleton possibly coming back. They possibly have Allen coming back. The transfer portal is like one of those, kind of like a 50-50 type scenario. It's, like, it's kind of like make or break because like you get so many players. At the same time, you lose some of your players, so... Penn State might have had a good year, but trust me, their transfer of Julian Fleming makes this team a little more worthwhile to watch next year. Not to mention, there's still five months left for, still five months to go before football season starts. So I'd say that Penn State can make more moves in transfer progress. This is where they're, it's almost like the, it's almost like the, it's almost like 
trading players in like it's almost like the same version, the same way as you trade players in the NFL. You during the off season, you get you trade the best players possible. And in football, college, you call it transfer portal. This is a it's always a risky business, but you can also land some of the next top star. And although Alabama is utilized it quite well, but Penn State, they have had a they have decent transfer portals in the past, but this one might be the say the cream of the crop because they acquire one of the top players in football, one of the most underrated receivers that there ever was. So anyone that doubts Fleming, I like to disagree with you because he is one of Penn State's most crucial assets this season. Is the only thing we hope is that he doesn't get hurt. You he can't hope for that because. They might not like him coming to Ohio State. Probably just lost their best receiver because he, not only was he a great, great asset team, he's also a strong backup for Marvin Harrison Jr. He was a strong backup. And if you lose somebody like that at Penn State, you're giving, you're giving your biggest rival a big boost because they now feel like they can win. I think so. Because in the past, Penn State's only had like one blemish in the record each season. They lose to Ohio State and Michigan. And I think with Fleming on their team and possibly more great superstars coming transferring to Penn State, they've got a shot. In my opinion, there's, there's a school that's second best in terms of transfers as of, as of, recent, as of recent times. Coach Prime in Colorado has also done the same thing, so... There are right now two teams I think are using transfer portal to their advantage, Penn State and Colorado. They're using it to their well advantage because both have high-quality teams. I mean, Colorado might not have the best season that you wanted, but they landed the right players because what, what, what can I say? Both teams have great coaches. I mean, James Franklin's a little bit shaky, but he's really a coach because you can bring in the best kids in the country to come to play for Penn State. I mean, they were, before it all happened, they were strictly a mid-Atlantic team. Mostly all their kids came from, from the mid-Atlantic states, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Ohio. I mean, the, I mean, the, what, what I mean, like, towards the western Pennsylvania part of Ohio. But they, they've gotten superstars in the mid-Atlantic, but now, now they're people from Florida and Texas. And they got great players like that. They got a superior chance to be national champions. Because this team is a under 18 that has, that has been really tough to play against this year. Is they going to have a, trust me, they're going to have their hands full this year. They got to play Washington in Penn State, which is a good feeling. And they got to play Ohio State in Penn, at Beaver State. And that's to be their toughest challenge of the season. To mention their. Very right, regular right, toughest challenge. It's gonna be a tough fight every game because you know, Penn State had another weapon to their deep offense. They're gonna have a really have a solid team. And this is an NBA battle that is gonna be tough to win. But of course, the last year's season ended in bad for Abdul Carter, who suffered an injury. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's football. I think Abdul Kors is one of the best linebackers in the country. I'm sure the defense might lose a lot of their stars to the draft, but this is a team that I think in the future might have a national championship in their destiny because this is a really good football team. And I think that if they see the and develop, they take their time. They take their time. They've their one problem is that they never beat Ohio State. They can never beat Ohio State or Michigan. That's their one big problem. And when they climb the mountain this year, which I'm hoping they do, you know, you look at the next national champions. They just got to beat, win, that, win three games, in my opinion. If they have to play Michigan, beat Michigan, beat Ohio State, and beat Washington. Because trust me, Washington wasn't that big of a threat before, but now with them in the Big Ten, it's a bigger threat now to, to Penn State. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know your opinions. You're